everyone, it's Sarah from SlimDownWithSarah.com and obviously you could read the title of my vlog and it says I'm pregnant and if I am posting this video that officially means that I went to the doctor today even though I filmed this yesterday and um, I confirmed everything 100%. So this is like extremely, extremely exciting news. Um, me and my husband are through the roof about it. My whole entire family that I actually told um, are really, really excited. And this is really my official uh, first vlog YouTube uh, announcing it. And everyone has been wondering, oh, why haven't you been vlogging and where have you been and, you know, just whatever whatever and it wasn't because of this um i sort of took a break vlogging because i just i ran out of ideas like how many times can you guys see me work out to the same um workout program or i really was at a standstill when it came to my body there was no possible way that I could lose any more weight. I already reached my goal. I expressed that in probably like 25 of my uh, past vlogs. Uh, there was really nothing changing in my body. I wasn't really losing any weight, gaining any weight. And if I was gaining weight, uh, of course, obviously, I don't want to show you. And you probably already noticed uh, I would have my ups and downs on my Facebook fan page. And I would share that with you. So I'm going to try to make this really brief. Uh, I just want to, you know, quick throw the announcement out and just do a little brief background here. The uh, choice to have a third child was pretty much on and off for the past like two years. We were really up in the air about it. Uh, one week we would be, yes, we want another one. The second week we'd be like, oh, no way, that's too much. Um, we were happy with two or, you know, we felt like something was missing. Like we were always wishy-washy about it. And last year we were like 100% about it and we actually started trying for a third baby around the same time last year, maybe around February or April. And um, that's, that was the time frame that we actually tried for a third baby and it was not successful and that was kind of like my sign saying, wow, maybe this third baby isn't really meant to be um, because with Amos and Asher, we conceived immediately. So I almost felt like it was something saying like now is not the time to have a third baby. Uh, so I went back on my birth control pills and um, well on my birth control I was on the Nuva ring and um, I just I also want to quick mention that the reason that I am being uh, so honest and so open with this and I will continue to be is I want this story to be out there for anyone who um, is trying to get pregnant uh, whether it's their first third or sixth child um, I'm 31 years old and I was on birth control from the time that I had um, my last son which was five years ago up till now and um, I really feel like that screwed up my body like majorly but anyways aside of that point um, I just me and my husband we were just like you know we this this idea isn't gonna come out of our head and the reason it didn't happen last year was because I was almost like so like obsessed or proud or so my body was just so fit and so perfect and I just wanted to enjoy it you know for, for a good year um, I was in tip-top shape I weighed uh, way past my goal weight I weighed 117 pounds I felt so great about myself and I just wanted to you know just enjoy it before um, I had to gain weight again or before I felt sick or you know I really had to think about this um, and I know that's selfish but I, it was just something that I felt like I needed to do so I did it and I enjoyed my body and then slowly as the months went by uh, you know it became more unrealistic to keep my body in that shape uh, it, it was just really difficult the eating was so strict and the workouts were so strict and um, you know it was becoming like I didn't I don't want to say obsessed but it was just really difficult and a little too time-consuming when you have other things going on in your life to uh, keep a tip-top shape body So, like I said as time went on you know me and my husband kept thinking it and you know fast forward a little bit uh, Christmas time came around and we got a, another puppy hoping that it would fulfill the want for a baby and you know we got that fulfillment but it almost made it worse because my kids are they're five and six and you know they still need us but they don't like really need us like a baby does and um, I'm not saying that every single time you know our kids don't need us anymore we're gonna pop out another kid 
Uh, but I feel like I always wanted three children and um, there was no turning back this time. I stopped taking my birth control in January and it has now taken us, I got pregnant uh, the very end of March. So I'm going to assume, unless I update it otherwise, that I'm a little over six weeks pregnant right now. Um, and so I, I mean, I had no clue that it even worked because I did everything like, um, the tracking tells you to do, you know, to track your calendar with your ovulation charts and, you know, you're peeing on those little sticks to see if it's positive or negative and then you get all these like hundreds of pregnancy tests and, you know, we wanted to get pregnant right away again so we didn't have to stress about anything. We just wanted it to happen like that again. And unfortunately, I think because of the birth control, it definitely pushed it off. And so when it didn't happen January and it didn't happen February, we were like, oh, when is this, you know, when is this gonna happen? Um, March rolled around and that was my last uh, period. That was my last cycle at the end of March. And you know, I was just thinking, um, you know, it's not gonna happen this time. And you know, I was waiting for my period to come again. Um, and I was just like, okay, let me, you know, get dinner ready real quick. Um, but let me just quick pee on this stick because I f my period was like a day late. And I was just, let me quick take it. It's going to say negative. Uh, so, you know, who, who cares? I just want to just totally get it out of my mind because I didn't feel pregnant, nothing. I, I just felt like I was going to get my period. And as I'm peeing on the stick, I'm just like, okay, hurry, I got to start dinner. And I quick look at it and it was one of the cheapy, like, um, ones that come in a kit they order offline I was like oh, holy crap I see a line and I was so nuts like nobody was with me I mean of course my kids were but my husband was driving home from work I could not believe that it was positive I could not cook dinner that night I was shaking I was freaking out because in my head I just I didn't expect it to be positive because all the other tests that I were taking had been negative I even took a test a pregnancy test one and two days before that and they were both negative um, and I was just blown away like I wish I could have gotten that on video but like I said I really expected it to be negative um, I I couldn't believe it <coughs> so of course I can't keep my mouth shut and I probably called my mom like um, roughly two hours later she was completely uh, surprised because she had no clue that we were even trying for another baby uh, you know no one really knew that we were trying for another baby so it was one of the best surprises that I could have ever told my mom um, she was just so excited as we were too uh, so anyway that's pretty much the whole um, our little plan and you know how it all happened and um, I plan on making updates weekly uh, since I'm a little over six weeks now I this past weekend today's well actually today's Tuesday but yesterday was Monday I would say probably about Saturday or Sunday uh, my stomach kind of felt a little iffy and it was like clockwork with my boys uh, six weeks to the day I started with morning sickness uh, but this morning well yesterday morning I should say I was feeling a little pukey in the morning but that's really it. Um, I took some Toms and was not hungry at all, so I just stayed away from food and uh, just eating very light, like really light meals. And that seems to be, you know, keeping my stomach in check. I really don't feel nauseated, morning sickness or anything. I don't feel tired, which is really weird because with both of my boys, I mean, I was tired. I had an insane sense of smell. Um, everything smelled like garlic everything grossed me out I couldn't cook um, I mean this pregnancy so far is the complete opposite of my boys um, which is I, which is nice but it makes me think like you know is it because I'm older um, is it because I'm healthier is it because I work out um, you know what things are making this pregnancy different and I'm not gonna argue though because whatever it is I don't want morning sickness so I hope that it stays away and I could be considered lucky if it stays away so anyways um I also wanna add that weight wise um, after I gained roughly 
10 or 15 pounds um, over the holiday season. I really never lost it all. I got down to 125 and then up to 134. Um, really my lowest that I stayed maintaining at was 125, between 125 and 130 um, for the past summer, summer of 2013. And now, um, the last time I did finally step on the scale, I weighed myself, I was roughly between 130 and 135, depending on um, what time of day it was. And um, I'm hoping that I don't really gain much more weight until I really start to pop. Because um, right now I'm just really bloated and puffy. It's almost like I feel like you're going to get your period. Um, like that real puffy, like watery, yucky feeling. Like, oh, my pants don't fit. You know, like that bloated feeling. That's what I feel like right now. <laughs> um, but I did notice uh, if you you need to follow me on my fan page because I post pictures all the time and the last um, two to three weeks I knew I was pregnant and I've been posting all these ab pictures and I really can't flex my abs anymore um, it's a little uncomfortable because obviously my uterus is growing um, and I don't want to you know hurt anything you know in there so until I truly speak with my doctor since I saw my doctor today and not yesterday and I filmed it yesterday um, I don't really want to be you know trying to do any ab or crunching or anything weird like that um, so anyway I'm gonna wrap this video up I will do a um, I guess a six week pregnancy vlog probably today but I'll post it tomorrow which will be Wednesday um, is when I'll be posting it but I I'm really really excited and I hope um, you know anyone who has been following me through my weight loss journey I hope you still continue to follow me because um, you know now you actually get to see it um, you know live you actually get to see me go through this pregnancy and stay fit and stay healthy and then lose whatever weight that I did gain uh, all over again instead of catching me at the very beginning when I actually start losing weight so I think it's gonna be really exciting and I'll let you know what I'm eating and you know even for anyone that's not pregnant you know you're gonna probably be pregnant one day or you probably were pregnant at one time at some time and who doesn't love babies so I just you know I want to, to let y'all know that I'm still gonna work out I'm still gonna be here for you all and um, I hope you all are just as excited as I am um, about this new edition that's coming soon all right anyways guys um, if you have any questions you know where to find me and as soon as I can put up a workout vlog I will or something you know fitness related this is just such big news that I really wanted to share it with all of my fans that have been following me for so many years. Um, so anyways, I will see you guys later and yay! Bye guys!